Some GPUs launch with hype and fade fast. Others get laughed at until years later they suddenly shine. In 2025, with driver updates, new game engines, and falling used prices, a few graphics cards have aged like fine wine and are way better now than they were at launch. And today, I'm breaking down six of them, each one a solid pick in 2025 if you know where to look. I'll also share my personal favorite at the end. So, let's start with the card that quietly crushed it in the budget space, RX 6600. The RX 6600 didn't make a splash when it launched. No flashy ray tracing, no big hype train. But over time, it quietly became one of the best price-to-performance GPUs you can get. Originally priced around $330, it struggled against the RTX 3060. But now, in 2025, you can regularly find it new for $150 to $170, sometimes even less on sale. At 1080p, it handles everything from Cyberpunk to Apex Legends at high settings with smooth frame rates. And with AMD's smart driver updates, it's still improving in newer titles. Low power draw, cool temps, and a strong used market make it a top-tier budget buy. No drama, just reliable, efficient performance. RTX 2060 When the RTX 2060 launched, it was NVIDIA's entry into ray tracing. But not everyone was impressed. The 6GB VRAM felt tight and performance was just okay for the price. But now, it's aged surprisingly well thanks to DLSS. With more and more games supporting it, DLSS gives the 2060 a serious second wind, letting you play demanding titles at higher frame rates without sacrificing visuals. And the best part? You can now find this card for $120 to $140 used, sometimes even lower. It's not a beast, but it holds its ground, especially for competitive titles like Warzone, Valorant, and Overwatch 2. Plus, you still get NVIDIA's driver support and features like Shadowplay and Reflex. Not bad for a 5-year-old card. RX 5700 XT The RX 5700 XT launched back in 2019 with raw power but also with problems. Overheating, noisy reference coolers, driver issues. It wasn't exactly smooth sailing, but fast forward to 2025 and this card has completely redeemed itself. Thanks to years of driver updates and community support, the 5700 XT now runs much more stable. And its raw performance still competes with the RTX 2070 in many titles. At 1080p and even 1440p, it holds its own in modern games, especially if you snag one with a good aftermarket cooler. And here's the kicker. You can often grab it used for $100 to $120, which is a steal for that level of horsepower. If you don't care about ray tracing and just want max frames per dollar, the 5700 XT is a performance sleeper in 2025. RTX 3050. Let's be honest, the RTX 3050 launched with a whimper. For a budget GPU, it cost way too much and delivered way too little. But in 2025, it's no longer trying to be the next big thing, and that actually works in its favor. Prices have dropped hard, especially on the used market. You can now find it for around $130 to $150, which puts it in direct competition with the RX 6600 and 2060. And now that more games support DLSS 2 and 3, the 3050 actually delivers smooth 1080p gameplay with ray tracing on. Something unheard of in this tier just a few years ago. It's still not a powerhouse, but it redeemed itself by finally fitting its price bracket. And if you already use an NVIDIA setup, it fits right into the ecosystem with Reflex, Shadowplay, and Invent Key. GTX 1660 Super. No ray tracing, no DLSS, no flashy marketing. And yet, the GTX 1660 Super has quietly become one of the most dependable budget GPUs out there. Launched in late 2019 as a mid-tier refresh, it delivered performance close to the GTX 1070, but with better efficiency, lower heat, and a cheaper price. Fast forward to 2025, and it still handles modern games at 1080p surprisingly well, especially competitive titles like Fortnite, CS2, and Rocket League. The used market is flooded with them, and you can often find a clean card for $90 to $110. It won't win any benchmark wars, but for value-focused builds or older systems, this card just works. And unlike older Pascal cards, it gets slightly better optimization on modern drivers thanks to its Turing architecture. GTX 1070 The GTX 1070 came out way back in 2016, and yet, in 2025, it's still alive in a shocking number of systems. Originally a high-end card, it packed 8GB of VRAM and strong performance for 1440p gaming. 
And while it's showing its age now, especially in newer VRAM-hungry titles, it can still run most games at 1080p with medium to high settings. The best part? You can regularly find it used for $80 to $100. But there's a catch. No more game-ready driver updates from NVIDIA. So don't expect great performance in the latest releases, and avoid it if you play brand new AAA titles often. Still, for older games, emulators, or general use, the 1070 is a shockingly capable zombie card that just won't quit. Intel Arc A580 Yep, an Intel GPU made it onto this list. The Arc A580 launched quietly, sat in the shadows, and then started punching way above its weight. Initially plagued by driver issues, the A580 has matured a lot thanks to Intel's relentless software updates. It now delivers solid performance at 1080p, sometimes even challenging the RX 6600 and RTX 2060 in well-optimized titles. It also supports AV1 encoding, DirectX 12 Ultimate, and ray tracing, making it surprisingly modern for a budget card. And here's the kicker. You can buy it brand new for around $130. No need to gamble on used hardware. Of course, compatibility can still be quirky on older games, and not every system handles ARC drivers smoothly. But for newer titles and content creation on a budget, the A580 is an underrated gem.